Um, and if possible, and producer Ann, can you switch with Krista and take some calls for a second? Because we actually need her input very desperately on this topic. Look at uh, we're going to we're going to get started on the open <laughs> forum here, Doctor Drew. And do you feel like it's it's very important that we talk to Krista because uh, the we open to forum start, topic? We have to start with the. Uh, World class. This is the best. I, I've never seen her boyfriend. So you got. I, she, we need to talk. Dave about is. I'm excited. Dave is by no means unattractive. Okay. Can we pull up pictures though? Yes. Yes. Because oh, if yeah. that's your opening statement, <laughs> that's Chris, Krista. Is she, by what? no means unattractive. By the way, this is what you. Let's see. Is there even an open mic? Here, no, there Krista, isn't. Okay, go ahead and share with Emily. Sure. Maybe you guys can kiss if you get oh, close enough. Oh, Mike. Um, first off, Krista, uh, you can't hear. Okay, well, you know we're on the radio. Okay. Thanks. Um, can you hear it all? Yes. No. Okay. Um, first, do, I had a second sex dream about us today. Oh. We had sex this time. Oh, you did? Yeah. 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 It, it went all the way. But here's the weird part is that- <laughs> Was I good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. But, uh, and you had a little muff. I didn't know. I thought you were fully shaven. All right, in my all right, dream, come on. In my dream, you had a little- oh, Mike, a little, I, we don't care It was like cotton dream. candy. It's <laughs> like a day. It was like a day. yellow cotton candy. Come on. Um, <laughs> But uh, in our dream, uh, Dave, your boyfriend, my very close friend, I like Dave a lot, uh, and Bianca, my wife, were like in on it. They were okay. Like, we were having sex. They it was were really wa- weird. Were they watching? No, but it was like uncomfortable. Is this were, like, the open forum or is this my dream? The <laughs> open forum topic is, <laughs> are you angry. substantially hotter than your significant other or vice versa? And you are, you are really way too hot for Dave, physically. He's a fat Mexican. That's true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. He's a fat Mexican who sleeps. That pretty amply sums up Dave, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Are you but, guys married? No. I hope you talk at their wedding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you give a speech. I can't. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is going to be so good. Well, there's no doubt it wouldn't happen. Yeah. Speech. Um, <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing. What What is the dynamic then when both people, I'm sure Dave acknowledges that, right? Does he ever, like, just for fun? Go no, well I'm so hot you can't even handle it. Oh, all the time. Okay, and what? But, but yeah. in, in serious conversations, does he guys... have cataracts? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Met the guy. I don't know. I'm asking. Uh, uh, imagine if uh, Carlos Mencia put on about forty. That's I'm David. Fat. He's fat. Pounds or years? <laughs> <laughs> he took away ten years and put on forty pounds. He took so he's ten years younger than Carlos Mencia, and so 40. he's like Carlos Mencia as a clump. Yeah, that's a that's a yeah. Dave's not that fat. Yeah, Dave's he's what two forty, two fifty, two fifty. Okay, yeah. Okay, so so lo- like a lucha days. libre wrestler. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there yeah. you go. Yeah, Dave's exactly. a, Dave's a, Dave's a, like, a, like a solid nacho libre. Exactly. So he's oh. a, so he's athletic in other ways. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor Drew, the, just, that was, <laughs> there was like an ellipsis in Doctor Drew's voice. <laughs> <laughs> But either way, start us off in the open forum. Tell us what it's like, because obviously Dave has a lot of upside. He's a great guy. He's funny. He's he's charming. He's a nice person. He's a good moral guy. But you are much better looking than him physically. Yes. What what does that create in the relationship? Is there a mismatch in power because of it? No, I hold all the power. <laughs> well, so then there is well, yeah, a mismatch. But I, well, yeah, but it's just so hard because Dave's so... I don't know one person that doesn't like him. Right. It's true. So he My ha- parents like Dave a lot better than me. Yeah. So I feel like he holds that power because people can look at me and think, I, I don't know, people sometimes don't like me off the bat and they love him. Mm-hmm. So I like him. I never met him. <laughs> yeah. Do we have a picture of him? We can't I, I will bring up He's the... big teddy bear. If you go to the Kevin and Bean website or the Kevin and Bean uh, Facebook, you see the executive producer, Dave the King of Mexico. That yes. is a beautiful How Christmas. How long have you been together? Uh, about three years. Did it ever prevent you from like starting a relationship with dave in the beginning because uh, well i never thought of him like that and he never thought of me like this he actually thought i wasn't hot back in the day no he, that's not true he said that you and him because i was an intern on kevin and bean that's true mm. and he i would come in my sweatpants just like i am now because i'm tired and it's five o'clock in the morning and dave told me that mike and he would say i wonder what she looks like outside of this with her sweatpants and but uh, one day it finally changed, and a little bit of alcohol, and <laughs> next thing you know, he just yeah, saw you in you jeans. It wasn't that; it was just yeah. <laughs> yeah. he saw you outside. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. She put on a skirt, and it was all downhill <laughs> from there. All right. Well, uh, thank you for uh, you know crystallizing uh, your thoughts so well and elaborating on the topic of. A does mismatch. he get nervous? Does he get nervous? You're going to cheat? No, but I say nervous. that he f- is very confident because he fat flirts. <laughs> Because he's fat, so he has this, like, he doesn't come off as some, like, douchey guy. 
Do you think honestly though? Do you think he almost uses that as like a like a defense mechanism, like a way of of, oh, of breaking the ice and hiding behind it? I definitely think so. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you, Chris. I'm gonna go take calls. All right. One eight hundred L O V E one nine one is the number. You're- 